Welcome to Visual Civil. Today we are exploring the fundamentals of reinforced concrete beam design. One of the most critical aspect of this process is determining the initial beam size and reinforcement placement. This decision can significantly influence the beam's overall strength, durability and cost effectiveness. In this video we will discuss several key factors you should consider when making these crucial choices so let's get started the rcc beam design process involves two primary steps first analysis and second design in analysis to compute critical parameters such as bending moment and shear force we need to consider the loads acting on the beam this includes external load and beam's self weight the external loads like imposed load and the material density are determined based on relevant is code like is 875 part 1 to part 5 guidelines the self weight of the beam will be computed by multiplying the density of concrete with the cross sectional dimensions of the beam since the exact dimensions are initially unknown we make assumptions of dimensions to meet serviceability criteria housing of reinforcement with suitable spacing and cover to the reinforcement based on the analysis results like moments and shear force we have to design the section the beam design lacks a unique solution as it depends on assumed cross sectional dimension material properties and reinforcement magnitude the design aims to achieve the desired strength of the beam through various combination of these variables therefore different designers may propose different solutions that satisfy design criteria hence for the initial assumption of cross sectional dimensions and the materials plays an important role So let us try to understand first some key points to assume the initial cross sectional dimensions of the beam while fixing the overall dimensions of the beam slenderness limit for beams to ensure lateral stability and span to depth ratio to control deflection shall be kept in view the depth of the beam is fixed based on span by d ratio to satisfy the deflection criteria it is better to keep the ratio of overall depth to width between 1.5 to 2 in general the width of beam can be assumed like 150 mm 200 mm 230 250 300 mm and so on many times the beam width may be depends on the thickness of a wall that needs to be constructed over it the widths of the beam should be equal to or less than the dimensions of the columns supporting the beam the width of the section should accommodate the required number of bars with sufficient spacing between them and a minimum side cover of 20 mm to the stirrups now let us move to the important points about rebar placement the main consideration when arranging bars in beam is to obtain the most economical layout to satisfy the design requirements it shall also satisfy the relevant rules about horizontal and vertical spacing of the bar and required bottom and side covers let us try to understand this with the help of some important points the first point is that the reinforcement bars shall be symmetrically placed about the vertical center of line of the beam if there are only two bars in a row then these shall be placed at the outer edges if bars of different diameters are placed in a single bottom row then the larger diameter bars are placed on the outer side in case the bars in different horizontal rows have different diameter the larger diameter bars shall be placed in the bottom row now let us move to the minimum spacing between individual bars sp34 gives the various guidelines for the minimum spacing between individual bars the horizontal spacing between two parallel bars shall be usually not less than diameter of the bar if the diameters are equal 
or diameter of the larger bar if the diameters are unequal and 5 mm more than the nominal maximum size of coarse aggregate. That's a wrap on this video. If you found this helpful, give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more design insights. Drop your queries or experiences in the comments below and we might feature them in our next video. Until then, keep learning.